Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Hi. Hello, Ashling. Thank you so Hello. much for being with me today and for taking part in our Spotlight Sunday member showcase. Um, no problem at all. My pleasure. Thanks oh. for asking. Oh, thank you. Well, listen, I am always fascinated to hear what you're up to. But to start with, would you just tell us a little bit about your business, what it is you do and what it is you sell? OK, um, so I'm Ashling. I'm a mummy of three um, and I'm a makeup artist. Uh, I, my business is Dream Beauty. Um, I do makeup and now a few other sort of beauty treatments. Um, and also then I sell beauty products, skin products, and a few other wee bits and pieces that I've added in as well along the line. Um, the main focus of my business is that I love to make women feel better about themselves. Um, I really, really believe in the power of makeup to improve our self-confidence. And actually, this is like a phenomenon called the lipstick effect, which is really, it really just underpins my whole business. Yes, I love that. And I know I've read a few articles that you've posted up and yeah. I totally believe in the lipstick effect as well. So um, mm. I feel like you're so much more than a makeup artist. You're so much more than a kind of beauty studio. There's, you've just got so much going on. Um, how long have you been going with your business? I finished my training about three years ago. I ran this right. time three years ago. So three, four or five months to do my training. So just in around three years ago was when I started off the business. Um, and thankfully it has grown well in that time. I'm yes. currently sitting in the way studio that I have upstairs in the house. Um, and at the minute, if you could see the amount of stuff that's in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also taken over a few other rooms in the house by this stage. So um, I think my husband will be the most glad to see whenever my studio out in the garage is completed so that we can get the house back I know and I recognize the background from some of your videos because um I know when we were doing videos I, I you were that was the space that you decided to make them in um yeah and I also know what I love about your business is that you're constantly changing you're constantly kind of moving up and, and branching into different things can you tell us a little bit about um because obviously a makeup artist needs to see a person in real life and put makeup mm -hmm. on them what happens in the pandemic what what did you do then well obviously all makeup applications stopped for months and months and months Um, I focused pretty much I did a few things actually and um, I focused quite a bit on the retail end of my business <clears throat> just prior to literally like about the week before lockdown sorry my voice is going here <clears throat> the week before the initial lockdown I had launched my new brand and I'd launched my website um and then all of a sudden then obviously everything had stopped so because I did have a retail shop already on the website um I just sort of really focused on it I added products to it added ranges um and then I also actually took a stall at a local market once a, a week and oh. um, just in the, like in the run up to Christmas, that would have been later on. It would have been, you know, November, December time, and um, just to try and reach people and get product moving, really. Yeah. Um, but also then as well, I did a bit of training in the times that we were able to. I uh, I completed a few bits of training that had been planning to do anyway so it was great to be able to get those done and um, I did HD brow training LVL lash lip training yeah um, I also did a hairstyling course which I haven't actually finished yet but I do need to get on to that and get that finished right. um, <laughs> but um, and also then as well I did a few bits and pieces online Um, I did I, I think I actually surprised myself at how you can actually direct people to do their makeup without actually having to be there. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, but started off, I did um, a live Facebook like makeover with a friend of mine, um, Claire, and she basically, I had, we had, I had given her the products in advance, so we were working on the same products, and then I talked her through it. Talk to three applications over over a Facebook live, like there was no room for things going wrong. There. <laughs> 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 and 
And how did that go? I do mean, you did you have an audience? Did you get sales? Yeah, but brilliant. And she looked amazing. Yeah. Um, it just shows you that it can be done. And, and I remember so seeing your, your you did some makeup demonstrations and you did a lot of uh, kind of the products. You were selling a particular makeup range at the time. I can't yeah. remember. Uh, what it's Delilah, called. Probably, Delilah yeah. that's it yeah and I, yeah. I thought those were brilliant yeah. yeah um Delilah is a stunning brand so I just I love it so yeah <laughs> and then you also did which I thought was amazing the cookies and cocktails or something yeah was that also online yeah that was actually that kind of was prompted really from the zoom with Claire or the, the Facebook live with Claire so basically what we did was it was um a makeup and mindset right. so um, as part of that then we had I had got lovely branded cookies I had got cocktails and um, sent them round to all the all the participants that I delivered them out to them and then we did it all over zoom so again actually it was myself and Claire I didn't talk to her through a makeup demo people were asking, able to ask questions and stuff through it um and we were chatting about the products and all the rest and then we then had a speaker on at the end it's Claire O'Hanlon and she was talking about mindset and the importance of it so basically that was very much to me that was the lipstick effect yeah. I, in action I wanted people to just to have a wee night where they could feel a wee bit better about themselves and just get a wee bit of a night off after such a long time of not being able to do anything so yeah I just thought it was there. a a really innovative way to get people involved and feeling kind of pampered and looked after and still online so I, yeah. I, I love the kind of innovation around how we all had to work online and the things that we had to do I but know. yeah fantastic it's amazing. it always makes me laugh do you remember a couple of years ago on the man on the BBC interview and he went viral because his kids were running in oh, yes. him and, yeah I mean that's normal life now all day <laughs> for sure for sure I've had that's for sure so many interruptions and it doesn't matter how many times I say to my kids do not walk behind mommy for the next 10 minutes they're like <laughs> no that's it my husband he's been working from home since like since last March and it's he could be on a a, a zoom call with people all over the world and then somebody will be like Oh, wee blonde girl has just popped up behind you now. It's not me, it's my youngest daughter. She's five. And she's just, like, no matter how many times she's telling her, don't go into the room. Dad yeah. is on a call, don't go in. Oh, she'll just slip in and just, she'll just come <laughs> in and give him a hug and then walk away again. Like, I love it. And I bet that all his co-workers love it as well. That's um, it, too. It's normal life, isn't it? Absolutely. Listen, I, I'm going to ask you a little bit about your future plans because I know there's lots of exciting mm -hmm. stuff coming up. But before we do yeah. that, can you tell me a little bit about videos? Um, yeah. How you felt about making videos? How you feel about making videos now? Have you got plans? You know, where are you at in your video journey, as it were? I hated making videos. <laughs> I think like most of us, I hate the sound of my own voice. Can't listen to the sound of my own voice back. But yeah, I do realise, I realise the importance of video. Um, and I mean, it's really, really clear to see, even if you're like, if you're on Instagram and you take a look at the insights on the posts that you're putting up and video is definitely worth that. Um, I have to say, like being able to do the Zoom, you know, the, the Makeup and Mindset event over, over the lockdown and all things like that, it definitely did give me a little bit more confidence on video. Yeah. But then that was, that was in a closed group. and. I don't, like the video wasn't going anywhere beyond that. Ah, video, okay. Um, but I think now I've realised just that you just have to get on with it and just do it. And I think that like doing the training with yourself, like that's where that really, really spurred me on to do that. And I think as well too, like I think I would have been very guilty of just coming on and like winging it completely, and that doesn't work. Right. I think that doesn't work in terms of how you're going to feel about it. If you, I think if I know I'm coming on and I know exactly what I'm not, not necessarily like fully scripted, but I know the points that I need to make. Um, oh, more than that, actually, I know why I'm making the video, who's reaching out to, what target market is going to hit, 
what I want to get from it and all that is what actually being prepared and having just the confidence then you have a wee visitor in the background now yourself <laughs> speaking of yeah <laughs> having the confidence then just to get on and speak and make your point I love that because it is so yeah. important you know and, and you know I always say uh, uh, over prepare and under rehearse so having mm -hmm. that you know what that end goal in mind having a bit yeah. of an intro and an outro and that structure and then mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think the energy that you, you've got when you're talking into a camera is different to the energy where you're just like, oh, I'm just going to hit record and I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you know exactly what you're looking to get across. And that makes a massive difference then. I still don't love that. Back, like, but I can do them now. <laughs> <laughs> Same. But also, I know that you, for example, uh, I know you did one video and you just literally did one take and put it up there and got loads of views. Did yeah. you hear that? Oh, Sorry. That's I... it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Glad to be back there. yeah. So, um, no, I was just saying that I think you're very natural on screen. I love all of your videos because you always have something interesting to say, but I particularly oh. love that you just kind of do it and get it up there and move on. I yeah. think. Yeah. No, I'll to be honest, I don't have time to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Either it's happening in the five minute window that I have to do it, or it's not happening at all. And I don't have time for takes and takes and retakes. And yeah, brilliant. I just have to go with it. But you know what? I think like the customer base that I have, the followers that I have, they expect that from me. They just know that they're just going to get whatever right. I'm going to do on the day, and that's it. Which yes. is authentically you, and you're connecting with your dream audience, which is totally exactly. brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I want to say a huge thank you for taking this time to talk to me and uh -huh. uh, being one of our Spotlight Sunday showcases. Um, I'm always happy to tell people all about you and what you do. And uh -huh. I know you've got some exciting plans coming up. So can you tell us about that? Oh, I can. So no. Version is nearly finished. Um, it is going to be amazing. <clears throat> the space, the light, the even now, what's going to start of happening now over the next couple of weeks will be the finishing touches. And I do think it's going to look really, really lovely. Can't wait to actually be able to work in it. I really can't. I can't actually, do you know what? I'm looking around and I'm like, I can't believe it's mine. Yeah. You know, that way. It's just really, really special. So can't wait to get out there. Um, right. And also then I am working behind the scenes. I'm working on a uh, Dream Beauty subscription box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant. So I put out a survey there a couple of weeks, maybe a week, a week and a half. And there was... It's kind of going to be quite lipstick effecty. So there'll be makeup items, skincare items, stuff like that, but also then there's going to be that underlying sort of theme of self-confidence and feeling good about yourself. And just basically really, if you that parcel lands through your door every month or every couple of months, that just is that wee moment for yourself just to take a wee bit of time. I love that. And I love the idea of kind of unwrapping a little present to yourself every month. Yeah. Best presents ever from me to me. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so if we want to get in on dream beauty and your mm -hmm. subscription boxes and i know that there's possibly a vip launch coming up as well of your yes. new studio and um, mm -hmm. how do we find you how do we get in touch how do we connect with you okay well best way is through my website um, which and is beautiful website which is www.dreambeautybyaoc dream beauty by aoc yeah yeah and um, so at uk. so all my details for getting in contact will be on that um, and also there's a wee box there where you can sign up to the newsletter and that's where all the news does go out first um, Yay! um uh, so brilliant yeah that's uh, everything will be through there so okay well i'm going to post all your links with this video yes, anyway so but mainly the website go and yeah. sign up go and get <clears throat> 
discounts, go and get invited to the party, the launch party, go and subscribe mm -hmm. to the Lipstick Effect. Brilliant. Honestly, <laughs> Ashley, I can't thank you enough for taking oh, this. No problem at all. Thank me. you. And um, it's so nice to hear about your journey and just keep flying. Honestly, um, it, it's brilliant to hear. Thank so you. So I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.